Hi, I'm Sandra and welcome to the Liebenser Chemistry Experiments. This is the first of those experiments called the flame test. This is a fun and easy experiment to do and we will see lots of colour in it. What I'm going to do in the flame test is take salts of certain metals and burn them in a Bunsen flame and then we're going to observe the colours that are given off. At the end of this experiment, you'll be able to identify an unknown compound just by knowing those colours that are characteristic to those metals. This is one of those rare occasions where you can use your naked eye just to identify elements of the periodic table. Lithium chloride. Lithium chloride is a member of the alkali metals and it is white in colour and it's hygroscopic which means it absorbs moisture from the atmosphere. So immediately it starts, you start seeing droplets on the clock glass. Sodium chloride, which is table salt, common table salt, and potassium chloride. These are all also members of the alkali metals, and they all exhibit white colors in their solid state. Now we'll move on to the next two, which are strontium chloride and barium chloride. These are members of group two of the periodic table, the alkaline earth metals. Finally, we'll move on to copper chloride. This exhibits a very strong characteristic color, blue-green. This is one of the transition metals. I'll now take you through the flame test procedure. I'll start by adjusting the Bunsen flame so that we get a blue flame. The blue flame is the hottest part of the flame. There we go. I then take the nichrome wire and place it into the Bunsen flame and ensure that there is no colors given off by the nichrome wire. So it's clean. I'll then place it in some hydrochloric acid and this helps to pick up some of the salts and I'm going to take lithium chloride as my first salt and burn it in the flame. Are you ready for the colour it's going to give off? There we go! Beautiful crimson red colour from lithium. This is the characteristic colour of lithium. When you see this, you know there's lithium. So you just allow this to burn off in the flame. And once it's burnt off, you place the wire in the, in the hydrochloric acid to clean it and back into the flame to ensure that it's being cleaned. This procedure will be repeated for each of the metal salts. Have fun. Can you think of anywhere you've seen these colours before? Shall I give you a clue? This is a magnesium strip. I'm just going to light it. Does that give you an idea? Yes. Every colour we saw from the flame test today, those materials are used in fireworks. So the next time you see some fireworks, you'll be able to tell your friends what was used to make up those fireworks. How cool is that? Chemistry is alive and everywhere.